You can record your microphone audio levels separately from your desktop audio levels so that when you're editing, you can adjust your commentary volume separately from the gameplay or music volume so you can hear your commentary better. To do so, in OBS, click this settings icon, choose advanced properties and make sure that the audio input capture is on a separate track from the desktop audio. In this case, desktop is on one, audio input my microphone is on two. Second thing you need to do under settings, you have to go to audio, sorry, output, recording, and make sure both audio tracks are selected for output. I've also chosen MKV as my recording format, I recommend that. Once you've done that, then all of your audio is recorded on a separate audio track so that when you go into your video editor, you can see that the audio is on two different tracks. Here is what I recorded as a test. You see it comes in with two different audio tracks, one for my microphone, one for the desktop audio. Here I'll show you from step one when I import this. I go to my Windows Explorer, I drag my raw footage uh, into my timeline, and look, this only has one audio track because I did not use that trick to have uh, it separated. It blends my microphone with my background audio. Now if I take another one which has both audio uh, tracks separated, you can see here that it comes with two audio tracks. One for my commentary which I can adjust independently and I'll show you how that works. I simply go here and I can adjust the volume of my, of my speaking separately from the volume of the background music and gameplay that I recorded. That's it. That's how you use OBS to create a separate audio track from a video track. Did you find this helpful, Freedom Family? Tell us down there in the comments below your best tips so we can all help each other grow together as a family. And I have another tip for you. We just launched our fifth game. This Guardians of Hylor right here is now available on Steam where before it was only available for uh, wishlisting. And I have a baby that's crying behind me. One moment. Uh oh. The baby that just woke up. So let me take care of this while I before I finish this video, okay? Sorry, Daenerys, are you okay? Um. I'm back. As I was saying, Guardians of Hylor is now out. It's our fifth game that we've published. All of the games behind me are available for 110% revenue share for all of your videos you make about these games. We've now signed 30 games as a publisher, as Freedom Games, and some of the new ones include Terracotta, Tyrant's Blessing, and Monorail Stories, right here. I encourage you to check all this out. Go to www.110.tm and click sign in to get started or just click any of these to go to that game. If you're interested in Nine Years of Shadows, for example, you just click this and it takes you to the Steam page where you can see the gameplay and you can add it to your wish list. It's already in my Steam library. And uh, yeah, you can, uh, here's the add to your wish list button. And for games that we've launched, you can get them directly from the Steam page like Guardians of Hylor, the one we just published. You can click buy now if you're interested, uh, but I've already got it, so I can't buy it again in my Steam library. Hope this helps Freedom Family. And uh, we're gonna be publishing many more games, as you can see here. All of these games that say wishlist on Steam will be launching over the next 12 months. And so uh, Dark Deity is out, you can get it. Dreamscaper is out, you can get it. God Strike is out, Jetboard Joust, and Guardians of Hylor are out. And what's coming later this month is Sands of Aura. This will be launching October 21st. It's our own dungeon crawler meets uh, Dark Souls. Diablo meets Dark Souls. Here is the gameplay. It's built in Unreal Engine, so the graphics are amazing. And I hope you'll enjoy the punishing tactical combat of our Sands of Aura dungeon crawler a game coming October 21st. Wish list it now so you get notified as soon as it launches. 
and you can click add to wish list right here on the Steam page. All right, Freedom Family, until the next episode, who am I? I'm just scrolling up here. I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pie, your Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am also using OBS to do my recordings because it's a great free tool. I'm also using NVIDIA Broadcast, wherever it's hiding, here, uh, for doing my uh, microphone echo removal, room echo removal, as well as my noise removal. But in this video, I'm not using the uh, background removal. I am actually using the OBS uh, built-in chroma key for removing the background. And the reason is it has a better quality effect than the NVIDIA broadcast background removal if you actually have a green screen behind you. Now, as you can see, I do have a green screen behind me. And if I uh, choose to turn off the filter, in OBS, you can see how it looks. This is me without the filter, but I just turn it on and voila! I have an almost perfect green screen. It's not quite perfect because it has a little bit of fuzz. Uh, if you look closely, here I'll choose my scene so you can see it more clearly. You can see it around my head. There's a little sparkle of, um, of the green screen trying to remove all the green. But what I've learned is just to use the defaults on OBS. They're actually much better than trying to tweak it myself. So you can see these defaults of 400 with a pure green key uh, and 80 smoothness and 100 uh, color spill. I didn't even know about this 100 color spill, but look what happens. When I remove it, you can see a noticeable green around me. And when I add it, that is gone. Similarly, if I put this back to 100, similarly this 80 smoothness, if I remove it, I see now some white around me. And if I remove the key color, now the white becomes green. So OBS is actually quite smart. It first removes the white, or removes the green, makes it white, and then the smoothness removes the white so that you have an almost perfect green screen around your hair. Is that how you get rid of the green uh, glow around you when you're doing your green screen? If not, tell us the techniques you use down there in the comments below so we can all learn from each other and help each other grow together as a family because that is the spirit of freedom. And I didn't get my exercise today. I went to the gym yesterday. I will be going to the gym as soon as I finish this video and upload it to YouTube because exercise is as important as brushing your teeth. Do you brush your teeth every day? Hopefully you do. Do you get your exercise every day? Probably not. So even if you have to do a in-home workout, 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, two minutes, iron chair, sitting against the wall, which is basically you sitting without a chair, using your legs to keep you up when you're uh, leaning against the wall with your back, with your knees at 90 degrees, that's an iron chair. Just do those exercises and that's good enough, but do something every single day to get your blood moving, hopefully build a good sweat so that you stay fit and healthy and <laughs> have a lot of energy because without exercise, you just don't have the energy levels. Coffee is not a good substitute, guys. I never drink coffee. I haven't drank coffee in my life. I've tasted it a few times, of course, but I never drink it. Uh, I, I never look for it whenever I feel sleepy. I either take a cold shower or I go to the gym or I just get on the floor, do some push-ups, sit-ups, an iron chair to get my blood pumping so that I'm not sleepy anymore. All right, Freedom Family. Hope you found all this helpful. In case you missed any episodes, click that eye to see the playlist of The George Show. Those are all the videos I've made to help you grow. And stay safe. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash freedom, which is the home of The George Show. What you see behind YouTube me. Now let's you watch full length. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. I am George and you've been watching. Oh, 
you dreaming about love? Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.